At 11, we have Cincinnati. They're kind of a weird draft, but we also like all of their picks. Miles Murphy at pick 28. Again, much like other prospects of ours that we really love, we're a little disappointed just because we wanted him to go somewhere where we could have a bigger role. But maybe they're trying to trade Trey Hendrickson eventually or Sam Hubbard. I think somebody on NFL Network said that he's very similar to what they have already. That couldn't be further from the truth. So, uh, maybe it was even on ESPN. I can't remember, but they said that Murphy is very similar to Hubbard. No, Murphy, Hubbard ran in the four nines. Murphy ran in the four fives. Like they are so different. And as we thought about it from a rotational standpoint, Murphy does make a lot of sense. He can chase down the mobile quarterbacks. He's got that type of speed and burst. Will he play a lot right away? Doesn't seem like it, but maybe we'll be surprised. And they're trying to get rid of one of them that we just hadn't heard yet. And round two, there's a common theme here. They went with super athletic DJ Turner. Yeah, uh, not just Turner. In the seventh, they took cornerback DJ Ivy. This, I mean, Ivy, I don't know if he has the athleticism, but um, this just goes to show that the Bengals are finally learning from their mistakes. Their secondary is constantly getting torched. Um, Awuzie is coming off a torn ACL. I believe this is the first offseason so far that they haven't resigned Eli Apple, right? I believe so, yeah. Right. So it seems like they're finally trying to move on. Um, it, they're good picks. Um, could you have taken somebody in round one instead, possibly? Could you have taken someone like Brent over Turner? Or no, that was earlier. Somebody else than Turner, possibly. But we love the Jordan Battle pick. We had them um, uh, ranked amongst the Nickelbacks specifically because – on tape, he was more active in run support, um, closer to the line than he was as a safety. But for a team that just lost arguably the best safety tandem in football in Bates and Bell, to replace him with first rounder Dax Hill from last year and Jordan Battle in the third round this year, it doesn't get much better than that. And they took two, three offensive weapons in round four through six. Charlie Jones in the fourth. Great wide receiver four for them. And he could theoretically replace Tyler Boyd if Boyd is the odd man out of the starting three when they have to pay Burrow, Chase, and Higgins. Chase Brown is a great backup for Joe Mixon. He's like the Walmart brand Joe Mixon. I don't think he's got upside uh, similar to someone like Joe Mixon, but he can do everything. He's got a little bit of power, a little bit of wiggle. He can catch passes. And if they cut Joe, then... Brown should be able to take the starter job and at least be capable in it for a team that really doesn't run it that much. And then in round six, they got Andre Ishavash. I, it's, it's a weird way to pronounce that, but that's what they did in the, the tape. So he's a size speed guy. I don't think he's ever going to be anything special, but if you're going to throw a dart, throw it at a guy that can run in his six, three. 